against Lozon for the opening face-off. And it comes by the way of the Edinburgh Capitals. First touch for Grimaldi. And we are underway. Here is Ricks. Chips it forward down the boards. Turcott picks it up. Under pressure from Steele. And Lozon off the boards. Not out. Grimaldi kept it in. Stingrays can't skate clear with it. Brown out of his crease to settle the puck down. His first involvement. And Stingrays get himself into a little bit of trouble. Ricks moves in. This is dangerous. Collins' shot is saved. And the Stingrays are able to clear the rebound. Getting themselves into trouble, not getting the puck out of the zone. Some of the Caps' outlet passing hasn't been as sharp as they may have liked. Oh, look at that bounce. It's going to be a tap in for Frederick, who's missed the target. Don't believe it. I don't think Frederick can believe it. That took a wicked kick off the glass and came back out in front. Idlovsky had gone behind his goal to pick up the poker that he thought was going to come around the boards. And Will Frederick has essentially missed an open goal. Trying to make amends, feeds it across. The Stingrays have scored. <laughs> after they should have done the Stingrays have got themselves on the ball we'll take another look at it and crashing the net into the goal and into the boards the Stingrays have the opener it's Avato who's got it it's Tanaka just has it knocked away by Steele Final seconds of the period, chance for the Stingrays perhaps to launch one more attack. How ambitious do they want to be? It's forward towards Lozon, but Grimaldi is there. Played onto the side of the goal, but that will see the final few seconds out. And the whistle sounds to signal the end of the period. And it's the whole Stingrays who take a one goal lead into the first intermission. Lukasiewicz with his second of the game. Second period underway here. First possession for the Stingrays there in blue. Caps are in white. And Steele comes in and gets a shot on goal. And Brown reaches out and grabs hold of it. Oh, the shot comes through and deflects in. The Caps have got level. Not sure who got the final touch. There's a whole crowd in front of David Brown. And early in the period, the Caps are back level. It was Grimaldi's long shot. Not sure if it was Ricks in front of the goal. It was certainly seemed to take a touch off someone. And we're just one pass away from being in on goal. But it's you wouldn't let it happen. Galbraith. Petran has lost his stick and he's got the puck under his skates. He's trying to tie it up as best he can. He's doing a pretty good job. Not an opportunity to go back and pick his stick up. And the puck down the far end of the ice, it'll be easier for him to just go back to the bench. He does that. The stick is still sat there on the ice, you can see it. As Towner comes in to put the pressure on Barron. He's out on the ice again. And receiving the pass from Osman. Forward to Knox. On for Havato. His route through neutral ice was blocked. He gets it back for another go. Meyer. Tries to play it cross crease. Knox has lifted it in off the back of Heidlovsky. The opportunity came. He had a couple of goals at it. And Jordan Knox is on the board. The Stingrays are back in front. Mayer played it across. And he just lifts it in and it goes off the shoulder blades of Hydlovsky and across the line. And Jordan Knox has put the Stingrays in front. What a boost that is for the Stingrays, so late in the period. It's 
so it's called unassisted. Mayer may be a little unfortunate not to pick up a helper on the play. Avato is going to the penalty box with one second left in the period. He is not a happy chappy. It's his second penalty of the period. It's a holding minor called by referee Paul Staniforth. So Ricks' only option really here is to shoot straight from the face-off. Which is what he tries to do. And Mayer got a block on it. The puck goes to the corner. And the Stingrays, who led by a goal at the end of the first, lead by a goal at the end of the second. So the puck comes back into the Stingrays' end. Turcot around. Yarolin blocks the puck against the boards. Collins trying to free it. Blows on, presses him into the wall. Comes back for Grimaldi. Nice spin. Barron plays the pass across. Collins has to use his skate to keep it under control. Collins has it back. Rich has taken up a nice position and he's fired it over the top of the goal and into the glass. And a little bit of room did Ricks. He's played a nice pass across, but Collins just couldn't control it. Spin and shoot as he was surely trying to do. Stingray is trying to pinch this one and break in, they will through Galbraith, Davis in support, Matty Davis, lovely goal! Oh. And a shot-handed marker for the Stingray's captain! Yeah. Galbraith made it happen with the block at the blue line, Forced his way through, realised Davis was in the better position, and the aggressive net minding of Hydlovsky was a little too much on this occasion. And the Caps are their own worst enemy, another giveaway, Lozon's taken this away, oh and Lozon, this time the poke check from Hydlovsky is enough. Asher's got to be careful, Boyd's all over him. He's still live behind the goal. Brown thought it was underneath him for a moment. There's a penalty coming in. And we're going to have another power play coming up here. And this one is going to go on the caps. It's Boyd who has been called. Across to the far side, the shot is sent in and it's saved low by Hydlovsky. Meyer under pressure from Benitsky. Back to Jameson. Osman called for it. Shows the pass instead of the shot, it was fired across by Davis. Petran had his stick down to intercept. Penalty is ending, but the Stingrays are going to go on an immediate power play. There's a tripping minor is coming the way of Richard Hartman, I believe. Novato. He goes down, he's not tripped, so play will carry on. Fed right through the crease, and Galbraith taking up a good position but couldn't get his stick onto the puck Novato Frederick Barron's in the way oh Novato is looks like he was caught up high there's no high sticking play call on the play so puck can continue and he moved into the Stingray zone the Stingrays have got it away oh and Novato is not a happy chappy Wow, he's really unhappy with Lauren Barron. It's going to cost him a penalty. He felt he was caught with a high stick. He went down. It wasn't called. And he wanted his own revenge. And if they can win the draw, they'd like to let Marcel Petron unleash one of his bomb shots. Here he is. Goes for the snapper. And just kicked away by Brown. Petran. Slap pass, backhand attempt, side of the goal. Petran will get it back. And it's slammed in by Hartman. Caps are back within one. Power play goal, and they've got 13 seconds to save themselves. By a coach with the power play goal. Had a 
couple of goes at it. And for once, the Stingrays weren't to the rebound in front of the goal. And the Caps have given themselves a little slimmer of a chance. But they're not going to get two in 21 seconds. Are the Caps going to get a goal in the remaining 13 seconds? And net is empty. Heidlowski stays on the bench. And Boyd comes forward. They're going to give themselves a chance. And Brown turns it aside. Puck loops up and hits the netting. It's gone out of play. The face-off will stay in the zone with four seconds remaining. Have the Caps got a miracle up their sleeve? Matty Davis will take the face-off against Dennis Ricks. Grimaldi and Petran wait. If Ricks can draw it back. Thing raises position, the four other D-men. Further, the four of the players cross on the far side. They want Brown to get a clear look at this face off. It comes back to Grimaldi, and it's well blocked by Davis. He threw himself in front of the puck, and that is enough to ensure victory. Oh, and there's a little bit of aggro on the far side with Jameson. But the Stingrays are winners tonight by three goals to two. And this is just setting it up for tomorrow night in Edinburgh when these two teams will go at it again. It's the Stingrays who take the points tonight. Everyone separates. And that is that. So two points for the whole Stingrays tonight. Means that they move to within two points of the Edinburgh Capitals in the standings. They will go above the Coventry Blaze and into the playoff spots tonight.